Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here is a Netgear AC1200 Wi-Fi range extender review and setup. Quick and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. Before we open up the box, let me tell you that this is the Netgear AC1200 dual band Wi-Fi range extender. Let me grab my knife here and very quickly open this up. And by the way, this is the model number EX6150 and in the box we have the quick start um, operators manual and we'll put that to the side and the only other thing is the Wi-Fi extender itself and let's toss that cardboard over and quickly unwrap the wrapper and it also has an extra wrapper protector on the face as well that's uh, really awesome keeps it nice and clean and scratch free. Now on the sides we have two antennas for Wi-Fi um, signal strength and uh, they are definitely adjustable so that you can get the best possible Wi-Fi connection from your network. Okay looking on the front plate here on the left we have a link LED for the router on the right hand side we have a client link LED down here we have a power LED and a WPS LED now all around on the sides and top we have air vents and on the right hand side um, starting from the left here we have a ethernet port and then we have a factory reset button a WPS button a power on and off button and a access point slash extender switch and by default it's in the extender position also all around the unit there are air vents that do a very good job at preventing it from overheating it stays very cool now on the back we have the AC plug up top here and we have a serial number model number and so forth down here now I was really surprised at how lightweight this is and the um, profile is very small and uh, fits very well onto a AC wall outlet and talking about plugging it in let's go ahead and do that and when you first do plug it into a wall outlet the power light is a amper color and then you'll get the um, router link LED and the client link LED flash red and blue and then when they go out you'll get a green power light and that will stay solid and at this point we can go ahead over to a laptop or a desktop computer click on the Wi-Fi icon and get a listing of available Wi-Fi networks now presently I'm connected to P router at 2.4 gigahertz um, this laptop does not do dual band so I'm only seeing the net uh, gear extender 2.4 gigahertz um, listing and I can click on that and then I can go down here and click on connect and when I do in Windows uh, 10 my default browser which is Microsoft Edge will open up and open up into the Netgear new extender setup window and once you get that go ahead and click right there and on um, the setup Netgear um, wants you to create an account with them if you don't already have one once you've created it click on next and then you get this page the switch on your extender has been set to Wi-Fi range extender which it has been it's just uh, let me know that it is being set up as an extender and not as a access point okay um, when you're ready go ahead and click on continue and it goes out and scans the network and looks for available networks and it found um, the one that I want to be connected to with this extender which is the P router this is my 2.4 gigahertz so I'm gonna click on that and over here is my 5 gigahertz dual band I'm gonna click on that one as well um, because I do have a dual band um, Netgear router but I just don't have the um, 5 gigahertz on my laptop at any rate as you saw I clicked on next and got this page 
where it's asking me to enter the password um, the, or the network key for my existing Wi-Fi network for both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz um, network and then click on next and then we have to enter a network name and security setting um, for the Wi-Fi extender now um, I've decided to take the defaults and that's the default names for the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz as well as the default um, password which is the same as my existing Wi-Fi password on my network um, you can certainly customize both of those and once you do click on next and then it goes out and applies those settings that you made onto the Netgear uh, Wi-Fi extender then once it's finished applying those settings you'll get this page where you need to um, put a check mark here click the continue button after you do that and then you're all set to go and we can go over to our laptop click on our Wi-Fi icon and go up here I am presently connected to P router but let's go ahead and connect to the um, extender here and I'm gonna click there and click connect it goes out and uh, prompts me for a security key and I left the defaults in place so I'm just going to type in my Wi-Fi um, password that I'm presently using on my network and once I do I'll go ahead and click on next here and I'll make a connection to my P um, router Netgear extender and there we go I'm connected um, to the 2.4 gigahertz and as you can see I'm still connected to Google on the internet now if I click on the open network and sharing center here I can determine the quality of my signal and if I click here as you can see I have all bars lit and I'm doing 150 megabits per second Okay, before we end this video, here's one last look at the Netgear Wi-Fi extender. All lights are green after a successful setup and installation. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.